Vintage Whoa, vintage hats. hats. Start pulling them out. Look at that receipt. 88. Hat. Whoa. Dale. Dale Jr. Milwaukee. Look at that vintage tag. Nice. Are these, these are all vintage, right? No way. No way. Oh my oh. gosh. No way. Oh. That was super Oh cool. my gosh. We scored. This unit's amazing. We probably made our money back right there. I'm, oh my gosh. I can't believe that we just found that. That's like right, right in the beginning. Is there more? There's no one. way, there's another case. My name's Thomas and I'm an online reseller. Every week, I search all over for some real bargains. I find all sorts of cool stuff. So follow me on my journey and hit that subscribe button. Before we jump into this video, we're going to announce the 1,000 subscriber giveaway winner. This person will get $100 worth of stuff from my store absolutely free. You can either pick one item or pick two items that add up to $100. I will pay shipping. So let's find out who won. Congratulations to BrickGuy42. Make sure to reach out to me on eBay or any other way you can and we'll figure out your reward. Now it is time to get to this storage unit. We spent a total of $1,200 on this unit. We won it for $770, taxes and fees, take it up a little bit, and then we rented it for a month. $1,200. And I think this unit might be one of the best ones we've done. So let's just jump right in. Hope you enjoy. This looks like a brand new for sale, but I picked this unit because there's something in there that I think would be perfect for you. Me? A new mattress. Oh my God. Yeah. I've been wanting a new mattress. Uh huh. But I wanted to know, is there anything in here for Daniel? There's so many people in my family named Daniel. So I call him Butler D. Butler D! Is in the house. Is there anything in here for him? I hope so. Let's find out. Okay. Open it up. Let's see your mattress. No, you. Oh, me, This is you. Did you take it off yet? No. Oh, unlock. I want to see. Oh, my goodness. Look at uh, it. Thomas. Look at that. You shouldn't have. It's perfect for you. Literally, you <laughs> shouldn't have. You got a beautiful mattress. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Aww. Now, this unit is the biggest unit we've gotten yet. Look at that. It's a 10 by 20 and it goes to the ceiling. Oh my God. <laughs> and how's the side though? The it side? Goes, it goes all the way down the side and all the way down the back. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my goodness. And we, we got about $1,200 invested in this unit. Oh so I'm really hoping we can get that back out of this unit. This is going to be a good one, hopefully. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. Well. So let's just jump right into it. What were they hiding in here? Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at all those boxes. Oh, that looks like nice furniture right there. Yeah, it could be nice stuff. On like display cases. Yeah. Oh. Look at all of those boxes. That is crazy. Now they had this unit for four years and they paid $340 every month. Oh my God, that's like How much is that? Seven, $17,000. Yeah. Holy mackerel. So what were they hiding in this unit that they spent $17,000 to keep? We're gonna find out. What is this? Did they cut the head off it? You said it's a rabbit fur coat? Yeah. Whoa, is it so branded? Rabbit fur. Yeah. Rabbit fur. It's vintage. Split end LTD. I can already tell this is gonna be a good box. We got some boots. I think we already showed these already, but ooh, inside the boot. We got a knife. Come on, come on. Uh, link? This thing's cool. Is it sharp? Oh, it's sharp. Oh, I can't touch it. More, oh, these are, we got like, is that silver on the toe? Whoa. Dad, why are you going through the trash bag? I just threw all that stuff away. Oh, because, you know, because I see things that you throw away that I would keep. Really? And what is that? What would that be? Okay, so far, this is a $1 winner. One dollar winner. Two dollars. Four, five, six. And see, this is the, the lucky a, number is the eight and fifteen. Fifteen, 15. is a ten dollar winner. Why are they keeping winning lottery tickets? Who I don't. Cash I, I don't think he. Tickets? I don't think he realized they were winners. I think that there was something going on. He couldn't take them to the store. Well. But now we're going through the garbage because I was not checking the lottery tickets because I didn't think they'd be winners. But they are winners. So this is cash in hand right here. 
so so far these are all the ones that are winners and we actually found three oh no, four well this one's scratched but three of them that are not scratched who would buy lottery tickets and not scratch them that's crazy so we're gonna have lily scratch these lottery tickets and see if she's a winner so 24 17 6 oh. come on come on come on 19, 39, 15, last one. 23, no, scratch the bonus. Bonus is the last chance. Candy cane, ah. Uh, Nothing. Unfortunately. Good try, though. I'm proud of you. How are you doing? Yeah. I'm winning, and I'm not even scratching. Oh, you're oh. beating me over there. Are you trash talking? I am trash talking. Harley Quinn Suicide Squad action figure. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, what is that? Something very cool. That does not look like a poker chip box. Uncle Don. I Uncle want you Don? to see. Uncle Don. What is it going to be? No way. No way. Oh my oh. gosh. No way. Oh. That was super cool. Oh my gosh. We scored. This unit's amazing. Now let's take a closer look at these revolvers. And oh my goodness, these things are nice. Right here we have a 22 caliber, high standard, double nine revolver. And it looked like this thing was going between $250 and $300. Put this with the case and that is $300 for that gun. Sweet. Now if this isn't a collector's gun, I don't know what is. A Highway Patrolman Revolver Model 28. We have the original box, the serial numbers match up with the paperwork. And not only that, it is an earlier model made in 19... 55 that is insane i don't even know what to think when i looked this thing up i seen it sold twice one for 1100 without the box and one for 1100 with a shorter barrel with the box this thing is rare normally these guns have a shorter barrel because they were usually police issued but this one is a six inch barrel that is rare right there what a nice gun we probably made our money back right there. I'm oh my gosh. I can't believe that we just found that. That's like right, right in the beginning. Is there more? No one. way, there's another case. No guns. way. Is it also the girls it's all 2000 like girls' clothes. These are apple bottoms. <laughs> Look at so good with this one. Oh my gosh, what is it? What is that? I don't know. Telescope accessories? Yes. That looks expensive. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> nice. I cannot believe we just found that. Okay, and this is the one that I want to see. There's more? This one is heavy. No way, no way, no way. You're, you're not in the light, bring in the light, bring in the light. Oh, it's cobalt. Oh, it's, it's cobalt. It's like a, it's going to be a drill, right? Or sockets, huh? What is it, what is it, what is it? Wow, look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. How much is that? It's, I don't know, but it's going into my tools. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to sell that. <laughs> so not only did we just find a gun, but it opened up a little bit. We can see Batman Funko Pops Hot Wheels. This unit is awesome. You're finding a lot of nice They're, stuff. Like, it's like grungy, gothy stuff, too. Look how cute this stuff is. Wow. Like, this is literally stuff I would pay good money for at Goodwill. Just like cool things. Um... Yeah, at least 300. At least 300? Yeah! Oh, no, no, no. Doing really good. Oh, what the heck is this thing? I found a vintage Harley Davidson pig. Oh, cool. Look at that thing. They might have a lot of Harley stuff in here. Whoa. Because I found a few Harley shirts. Now it is time for a storage unit tip. The most dangerous part of storage units is needles. You gotta be very careful. Right here is a syringe. You do not want to get stabbed by needles. So always keep an eye out if you're getting storage units yourself. Don't get stabbed. Also, we found this cool thing. It looks like some kind of person laying over this, but this is a, I think it's chocolate glass maybe. I think it's what it's called. This could be money right here. This could be some good money. To a screen. Whoa, on that. that's cool. This might be Fuji film. This might be something you could use on your videos. Yeah, maybe. Now we are back at the storage unit, and it's the second day, and we barely got a dent in this. Do you think we're a quarter of the way through this yet? Uh, no. No? Well, maybe a quarter. Maybe a quarter? We got some boxes here for me to go through. I'm excited. Ooh, Batman, Batman. Batman, more Batman stuff. We're going to see what else we can find. We've seen this huge gun, gun holder kind of thing, and then down here, this is locked, so we can't open the bottom. We don't know. There could be stuff in that, so we're going to have to get to that, but right now, Let's get to these boxes and see if we can find some cool stuff. There's small instruments. 
Gotta be very careful. Oh snap. Oh snap. Whoa. Oh, that, that looks like a violin. Whoa. Oh, I think it's missing a piece maybe. Look how old this thing is. Wow. I don't know if it's antique. It doesn't have any strings on it. It's got some words on the inside. Let's see what else is in that little bag. It's a little thing. Viol writing paper. Oh, let's open it up. It's got looks like some piece. I don't know if that has any value or not. I think it's a little beat up, a little damaged. This is truly a garage box. Harley Davidson. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's in front of a motorcycle. Whoa. What? This one, oh, this box is awesome. What is this thing? Hollywood. Uh, look at that camera tripod. mount. Tripod. Is that just Hollywood. A I we know there's gonna there's got to be a telescope in here. I don't think this. There's another tripod. And then what is this? Is Bell and Howell. I don't know what that is, but this has something in it. This is heavy. That's heavy too. Yeah. I think this might be another tripod. How do I open this thing? Whoa! Look at that thing. That thing's nice. This looks like it's for a telescope. It's got a leveling thing on it. Now we got a box that says garage games on it. We know the things in the garage are vintage, so we're going to find out what kind of games we got. Uh, starting off, we got some old baseballs. Those are kind of cool. Uh, scuba diving. Transparent air mat. Now these old uh, vintage pool stuff did sell, so I'll have to Google lens that. You'd be surprised. Is that some kind of jacket? Oh, look at this jacket. Uh, oh, it is a jacket. East Last Resort Bike Week jacket, 2006. Joe Rocket. That kind of looks cool, doesn't it? it needs a good wash. I wonder if they would wash it up. Now this looks like some kind of model kit, car kit. Oh, it's, it's all sealed in there. Now this is old. I didn't think it'd be sealed in there. This could be something nice. Do you want to look that up? Yeah. Right. Oh, there's train stuff. This is dad's DVDs in the box, but you open it up and it's train stuff. Oh, this, nice. I think this is all train stuff. Now this is power. There's a cord. Okay, I don't know anything just, about this. Just put it away and we'll thing. look it up when we get back to the house. Yeah. Look at that club set. What the, what's the Spalding? Oh, they're kind of like in pretty bad shape, but I mean, that thing's old. I wonder if how much that would be if it was like cleaned up. What do you got for me? Vintage Whoa, hats. vintage hats. Start pulling them out. Look at that receipt. 88? Hat. Whoa. Dale, Dale Jr. M M Milwaukee. Look at that vintage tag. Nice. Are these, these are all vintage, right? That's nice. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Florida Gators. Uh, Kellington. Don't know that. Oh, that's a cool one. Georgia. Jim Bean. Batman. Batman, yeah. Is that's it a nice. vintage Batman? Check it. Holy. What are you doing over there? Are yeah, look at that vintage Warner Bros. Whoa. 2001. What are you doing over there? You're getting there? mad? <laughs> Quit throwing stuff around. It's oh, oh, they cut the tag off for that they one. They cut the tag off? What was that say? I don't know, turkey maybe? Turok 2. Vintage Pepsi hat. Whoa. Another awesome. vintage Batman. Another vintage Batman hat. Whoa. Playboy. This is a beer wolf. Beer wolf? What That's the heck? Cool. Ah, ah, ah. What are you doing? Hail, Southern, Southern Redneck wolf. hat. Enjoy Coke, Coca Cola, Daytona Beach. Um, oh, look body. at this one. <laughs> That's cool. They have a gun one. Yeah, a gun one. Someone will want that. They kept these really well. We'll probably put these all back in the box just like this. That's a detective one. St. Augustine. St. Augustine. Uh, Ooh, bike week. Nice. 94 oh, yep, from yep. the 90s. Run pipe. Car quest. Bad. Wow. Wow.
Now we are back from the storage unit. I've got a lot more cool stuff to show you guys, so let's go ahead and check that out right now. We have a $20 DVD set, a $30 to $40 uh, pistol grip inflator. That thing was pretty cool. We're actually keeping this one for ourselves, like a coin machine money sorter. That's nice. That's really nice. Uh, a bunch of pennies in this Coca-Cola cup. That's probably a few bucks right there. $30 helmet, $20 helmet, 30 to $40 uh, dollar tennis racket. And under, the, is, uh, under that is some really nice old uh, snowshoes. Check those out. Now I looked these up and they were selling anywhere between $60 and $200. So those should be at least be $100 bucks right there. Sweet. Uh, a $20 Judge Mallet. A $30 to $40 uh, Diver's Knife. That thing's sick. Now this dragon's got to be at least at least be 40 bucks right there this thing's cool uh i'll put the price up on the screen for that i forgot about that one and then this uh old coffee maker coffee grinder i've seen this sell between 25 and 100 bucks the very least is going to be 25 bucks we've got some silver down here a little heart pendant this is at least 20 25 bucks i'll just say 40 bucks right there in silver there's some missing earrings that we got to find in the unit i'm sure we'll find them Another 20 right here, and then we come up here, and we've got some books. Now this whole set sells for about 40 to 50 bucks, so that is great. What an amazing unit. But I know what you're all thinking, Thomas, you told us this guy's a gun collector, but you only showed us two guns, and I completely agree. For someone to be a gun collector, they would have to at least have 10, right? <laughs> next week's going to be a good video. You're going to see some guns next week, spoiler alert, but... Yeah, just get ready for that one because that one's going to be a great video. Um, additionally, there's going to be a few parts to this unit because it is the biggest unit we've done yet. There is so much to go over. We've had to do like six, seven days cleaning this unit out and we're still not even fully through the unit. So there's so much to do. But like always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you want. And if you have not yet, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.